Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here with my good friend Daniel. We just got off the rise of the resistance here at Disneyland. What would you think? It was cool? Fun, yeah. I liked it was it. fun, right? So I want to show you guys a little mind reading trick using the War of the Worlds. Have you ever had your mind read before? No. No. We're going to try something kind of cool with this book, okay? Uh, it's really simple. I'm just going to flip through the pages just like this and all you have to do is just say stop. Sound good? Yes. Right, you say stop anytime that you want. Stop. Right there is okay? Yeah? Go ahead and take the book. I want you to look at the first word on the page there. I'm seeing like a, like a short three letter word. Think of a letter somewhere in the middle. Think of a letter O. Yes. 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 Think of the word dog. Yeah? Okay, we're gonna try something else, okay? Don't look at the first word on the page. This time look over here on the right page and look at that entire first line. But I don't want you to think of like a, another three or four letter word. Make it a good word, an interesting word. You got one? Yes. Perfect, okay, lock that word into your mind and when you got it, look down at the page number. Memorize the page number as well. Perfect, go ahead and close the book. All right, here we go. Your word, it's a longer word. I'm thinking it's got like 10 or 11 letters in it maybe. Yeah, pretty long. Starts with the letter T. Ends with, ends with the letter M. Yes. Not thinking of the word thunderstorm, right? I am. Here's the really cool thing now. I knew he was going to choose the word thunderstorm. How'd you know? I predicted it. Look, inside my wallet, I have a prediction here on a little piece of paper. There's no way. But it's not just any piece of paper actually a page from a book and if you look here what word do i have circled daniel thunderstorm my thunderstorm word. what page were you on 113 there's no way 113 now here's a really interesting thing go ahead and start flipping through the pages um go from the start to the back because i want to really build the suspense here go to page 110 you got page 110 yes all right, cool. This is what, 113? Go to the next page. Go to one, 113. Where, where's 113? It's gone, it's missing. It's missing. Show them, I don't wanna, I think I'm... Is the, page, the page is missing? Yes. Not only is this the same page and the same word that you were thinking of, this is the actual page missing from the book. Show, the, the seams, the tears, Everything, yes, they match up perfectly. Line up? Let's see that. They match up perfectly. What? Mind reading. Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here. I'm here with my good friend Daniel. We're at Galaxy's Edge here at Disneyland. I wanted to show you a cool little mind reading trick using The War of the Worlds. This is one of my favorite books. Have you ever read it? No. no? It's really cool. Uh, aliens and spaceships and invading the planet Earth and all of that stuff. Uh, but I'm going to have you look at some words in this book and I'm going to try to see if I can read your mind and figure out which words you think it up. Sound okay. cool? Yes. All I'm going to do is just flip through the pages like this. And all you have to do is just say stop. Ready? Say stop. Stop. Right there. Go ahead and look at the first word on the page there. Got it? Yes. Think of that word. Think of a letter somewhere right in the middle of the word. You're thinking of the letter M. Yes. Starts with the letter S. Yes. Is it the word summer? Yes, it is. Do me a favor, uh, watch the words as they go by. Every word is different, right? Yes. We're going to do it one more time, okay? You just say stop whenever you like. Stop. Right there? Look at the first word on the page. It's a little bit of a smaller word this time. I'm thinking like maybe four letters long. Yes. Starts with an M, ends with a Y. Is it the word many? Yes, it is. Now, Daniel, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Michael loves this book so much. Maybe he's just memorized the first word of every single page. You might be right. That might be how it's done. So, to dispel any rumors, I brought with me some more books, uh, some more wars of worlds, possibly in a galaxy far, far away. I'm talking, of course, about the original Star Wars trilogy. Uh, but do me a favor. Pick a book, any book. Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi, great option. Uh, go ahead and flip through there. Again, make sure the first word on every page is different. They're all different. So far, so good? Okay. 
So we're gonna get a random uh, random page. I'm just gonna flip through you. Say stop whenever you want. Okay. Stop. Right there. Uh, page seventy. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Go ahead and open to page seventy. In Return of the Jedi. Yeah, page seventy. Look at the first word on that page. It starts with a K. Yes. Think of a letter somewhere in the middle of that word. E. Yes. Is it new? Yes. It is. Yes. Right, pick another one. What do you want? Empire? You want? Uh, I want the Empire. Swap them. Grab Empire. Check it. Make sure it's good. Make sure. Make sure uh, all the pages are different. It's not the same word on every page. No. I always have to say this because that's like I get accused of this every time. Yes? Yes. Okay. Same thing. You, you say stop. Stop. Right there. Uh, it's page 70 again. You want to use 70 or do you want to get a uh, different page? A little bit further. Okay, you say stop. Stop. 120. Is that, is that good? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Going up to page 120. Let me know when you're there. I'm there. You're there? Yes, I'm good. Ooh, this is a this is an interesting one. The Millennium Falcon is right behind us, right? The word that you're thinking of is a part of this ship, is it not? It is indeed. You're thinking of the word cockpit? Yes, I am. That's a little bit of mind reading with the Star Wars. Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to be taking our first look at the Jedi Book Test by Josh Zanman. Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. For those of you new here, welcome. And for those of you who are coming back again, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a really close look at Josh Zanman's latest book test called the Jedi Book Test. It consists of this book here, The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells, a very popular title, and it partners with another book that has wars in worlds in a galaxy far, far away. Of course, I'm talking about the original Star Wars trilogy, episodes 4, 5, and 6, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. The really cool thing about this book test is that the Star Wars books are completely ordinary. The War of the Worlds is going to act like a peak book for these Star Wars books. Now, you do need a very specific set of Star Wars books, so make sure you guys check the link in the description below so you guys can pick these both up if you want to pick up War of the Worlds and also where to get these Star Wars books as well. You can find these at your local bookstore, you can find them online, but make sure you guys get the exact copies that you need for this uh, by going to uh, the link in the description below. Now, the book itself, The War of the Worlds, is going to be your gimmick. This has four full-length met methods in here, and three out of the four are self-contained inside of this book, and the fourth method uses the Star Wars books. So we're going to put the Star Wars books away for now. And we're just going to focus on the first three methods that are taught here inside of the War of the Worlds, okay? So the first one is the Millennium Flashback. This is Josh Zanman's classic method. He puts this method in all of his book tests. So if you guys already have a Zanman book, you already know this method, but it's very simple. I flip through the pages just like this. The spectator calls stop anywhere that they want, and I am able to read their mind and tell them which word they're thinking of. So it goes something like this. So you stop anytime you want, right there, perfect. Go ahead and look at the first word on the page, right, perfect. And uh, they're thinking of the word pretty, right? We'll do it again, just like this. Say so stop whenever they want, stop right there. Go ahead and look at the first word on the page. Here, let me try to put it up. Hopefully you guys can see it there, right? And they're thinking of the word together, right? And it's super simple, there's no fishing, there's no forcing, there's no guessing. Just by flipping through the pages like this, I know exactly which order they're thinking of. And I don't have to stop at a specific page. I can go like this, I can say stop, and I can say, are you happy here, or would you like me to keep going? And I can keep going if they really want me to, and I can just keep flipping through the pages like this, right? So really, really simple. That is the Millennium Flashback, AKA the original Zanman book test method. And again, the other really cool thing about it is the book itself is what I like to call semi-examinable. 
Can they read the entire novel all the way through and get the story? Not really. It won't really make sense if they try to read the book from cover to cover, but it is lightly examinable. They can flip through the pages. They can see that all the words are different. There's no duplicate words. Nothing repeats. And uh, they can read snippets from the book. And it is the story, the War of the Worlds, right? So it is examinable to an extent. Again, I wouldn't sit there and read the novel, <laughs> right, from cover to cover. But at a cursory glance, tell them, yeah, flip through the pages. All the words are different. It'll fly right by, right? So that's the first method. The second method is something called the Jedi page. This is going to be your Pegasus page or your flying page method, right? So the way that this works, again, very simple. You flip through the pages. They say stop anytime they want. You're going to hand them the book. And instead of having them look at the first word on the page, they're going to look at any word in that first line. Not only are you going to divine the word, but you're also going to reveal something really cool. Right, so they'll look at the uh, they'll look at any word on the line here. I'm going to read their mind. I'm going to tell them which word they're thinking of. I tell them to look down at the page that they're on, memorize the page number as well, and close the book. So now I'm going to read their mind. You're thinking of you're thinking of the word thunderstorm, right? They say yes, and then I say, you know, I knew that you were going to think of that word because I actually have a prediction right here inside of this envelope or inside of my fire wallet, you could do like a fire wallet, or in the back of the room, check your purse, check your pocket, right? Wherever you want. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna produce a page, right? Not only is it just any page, but this is page 113. What page were you on? You were on page 113. Look at this word right here at the top of the page. What word is it that you see? You see the word thunderstorm. I told you I knew that you were going to pick that page. But here's the really interesting thing. It's not just any page 113. And it's not just any word thunderstorm, right? It is the page 113, the word that you were actually looking at and thinking of. And you can have the spectator do this your, uh, themselves. They can flip through the pages of the book, right? So page 108, uh, 110, 112, and 113 is missing, missing from the book. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, I'll hold it up there so you can see. And uh, the really cool thing is, is that page is a perfect match. So you stick it back inside the book, all the edges and everything line up, the tears, the words that are torn through all match and everything. And you have a really clean and perfect <laughs> matching of a page. And the best part about this is that there's no palming. You don't have to sneak this page anywhere. This can be set up right at the start, making it super simple and practically self-working for the actual page production bit itself. So it's really cool, really easy. One of my favorite methods in this book test. Now, the easiest method that's taught in here is the tossed out Wookiee. That is your tossed out deck. That's your tossed out book, right? So for those familiar with tossed out deck, this works exactly the same way, only instead of using a deck of playing cards, this is built into the book test. So the way that this works is really simple. You're going to toss the book out to the audience. Spectator is going to flip through. They stop at any page that they want, and they're going to look down, and they're going to get a word from the book, right? Instead of looking at the first word on the page, this time they're going to look at the last word on the page. Pass the book to someone else to do the same thing. Stop right there. Look down. They're going to think of a word. You do this until five different spectators are all thinking of words. Then you have them all stand up. You point to each spectator, you tell them which words they're thinking of, they all sit down, and now you've just done an impressive mind reading routine that is practically self-working. There's no forcing, no fishing, no guessing, you already know exactly which word each spectator is thinking of. Again, those of you guys familiar with the tossed out deck will know exactly how this works and just in how incredibly powerful this method can be. Now. Those first three methods are all 100% self-contained in just this one book. So when you purchase the Jedi book test, this is what you're receiving. You're receiving the War of the Worlds book, right? So you can put a little routine together. You can flip through. They look at the first word on the page. You reveal that word to them. We'll do it again. Only this time, don't look at the first word. Look at any word on that first line. You reveal the word to them. And then you say... 
here we're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm gonna toss out the book, blah 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 blah. You do the different um, have each spectator in the audience think of a word, you do the tossed out book test, you reveal all of their words, and you say, Wait, you were thinking of the word thunderstorm, right? Go back to the page that you were at. The page is missing, and then you produce out of your fire wallet, like the phoenix rising out of the ashes, the page that they were on. And the book was out of your control the whole time because it was getting tossed around the audience, right? So a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this. All of these methods are 100% self-contained in this book. Now, last but certainly not least, the Jedi, uh, or excuse me, the Star Wars book test, right? So the Star Wars book test uses the original trilogy books, uh, episodes four, five, and six. So that's A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. And again, the really cool thing about these is that these are completely ordinary books. These can be tossed out into the audience. The spectators can read them from cover to cover if you want. If you've got a few hours you need to kill, tell them to finish the novels and then we'll do a book test. Okay, maybe don't do that. But my point is, is that they're real books, right? So how does this work now? The War of the Worlds book is going to be your peak book for these three Star Wars books. So the way that that works is very simple. You're going to toss the Star Wars books out into the audience and then you're going to use the War of the Worlds to clue you in to what words they're thinking of in the Star Wars books, right? So for example, let's just say I take a new hope, I toss it into the audience. I'm gonna flip through the pages here in my War of the Worlds. You just say stop any time that you want, okay? Stop right there. Um, page 106, is that okay for you? You wanna open to page 106? Perfect, go ahead and open to page 106 in A New Hope. Now, before I even look in here, I'm going to have them look at the first word on the page, and I already know that the word that they're thinking of is going to be smuggled, right? So what did I say? 106, right? Um, page 106 in the Star Wars book, look at the first word in the top left corner here, and what does that say there, right? Really, really easy. So you can have all three books tossed out. You can reveal all three words from all three books. Uh, you can reveal multiple words. It's not just the first word, it's the whole first line. So you can reveal multiple words. Um, you can use my inception principle for those of you guys that are joined uh, to the mob squad. You guys already have access to the inception principle, right? So you guys can learn that. And I teach that in this book test as well. Uh, oh, spoiler alert, in case you guys didn't know this, I'm gonna be your teacher for the Zan Man book, book test stuff. So uh, if you enjoy me in like, seeing my beautiful face. I'm your teacher <laughs> for all of this. Um, so there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this. Now, like I said, the Star Wars uh, method is an option. You don't have to do it. And you don't have to have all three books if you don't want to. You can choose your favorite title. It works with all three. So if you just want one, let's just say you love Return of the Jedi. Jabba the Hutt is your man. And you want to use Return of the Jedi only. You can do that. Or you can pick two, or you can pick three. Or you don't have to use these at all. You can just use uh, the War of the Worlds book. Now, if you guys do decide that you want to use the Star Wars books as well, again, I'm going to make sure I'm very clear with this. This is a very specific set of books. They're not gimmicked, but it is a very specific set of books that is partnered up with uh, the War of the Worlds book. So if you're not sure which books they are, again, please check the link in the description below. Or if you guys purchase this, uh, you're going to get a written PDF with it as well. And the ISBN number is going to be included there so that you guys can go find them yourself at your local bookstore or what have you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me here in this first look video. What do you think? Do you own any of Josh Zanman's book tests? If you do, which one is your favorite? I would like to know. I already know what my personal favorite is, but I'm curious to know what you guys.